Good morning guys, it's just a little bit before seven and in about 10 minutes this kitchen will be absolutely bustling with activity. But I thought that I would take just a couple minutes to touch base with you. Today is gonna be my large family once a month grocery shopping haul. Um, I have been working on a Walmart pickup order as well as a Sam's Club pickup order and then I'm also heading to Aldi's today. Um, so a little bit overwhelming but in thinking about the menu for this week and I'm going to share that with you at the end of this video. Um, I am also struggling quite a bit right now. We have had just a lot of things going on and feeling a little bit overwhelmed with even getting meals onto the table. The other thing that is happening is kids are really pushing back about food. So my theory is you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, right? My mom set food on the table. That is what you eat. You know, there's not substitutes. I'm, I'm not a short order cook. I'm not going to make a million meals here. This is dinner and here it is. And we've done that with kind of all of our meals we've streamlined that way. Um, when I was a kid though, we kind of chose our own breakfast. Mom didn't make breakfast really. We just got up and got what was available. And I'm kind of thinking that this month I may want to slide into more of that. Now, here's the downside of that. With a large family, it's a huge mess when everybody is making something different. Um, and so that's why I streamlined it and I had my breakfast rotation and my snack rotation and my lunch rotation and but the rotations just aren't serving us well right now. Um, I have been gone a ton, just we've been doing a lot of doctor's appointments and things have just been kind of crazy. And so as I'm planning for this next month, I'm thinking, you know what? I think I'm just gonna buy a lot of breakfast items and we're gonna see how this goes if I just set out a few choices for everybody. Um, the other thing is, it's like last night, supper was a disaster. There were a few kids that didn't like what I made and I'm just getting a whole lot of pushback right now. So I'm thinking, you know what? Is this worth the battle? Um, I'm wanting the kids to eat healthy, so I don't want them to substitute like with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day because there's some kids that would eat that for every meal every day. Um, and so I'm trying to kind of just figure out and wrap my head around how can I make meals a little bit easier for our large family. So backing up here a little bit, for those of you who are new to our channel, I know some of you aren't familiar with our family. Um, we are a family of 10, eight kiddos. Um, some kids are uh, foster and adopted and so they come from hard places and sometimes food is a struggle and so as I'm thinking about that I just want to eliminate this food battle for right now um, and I'm I'm thinking about okay is there a meal or two that I can make this week that can just be like our backup meal like somebody doesn't like what I made fine you can have this and I know like everybody eats chicken like if I grill up some chicken or do some kind of plainer chicken dishes um, chicken and rice um, they like that sort of thing, like just chicken and brown rice with peas in it. They all love that, or most of them. But those are just kind of some of my random thoughts for right now. And I will also share, oh, there's my alarm to go get kids up. It's time. I am just weekly meal planning right now. It feels like that's what's working best for us. I'm monthly shopping, um, doing my major shopping monthly, but I'm weekly meal planning. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's what works for me. So the weekly meal plans, um, I also head to Walmart weekly. So if there's anything I didn't get or don't have on hand, I grab it at Walmart during at the beginning of that week um, so that I have what I need for whatever recipes I'm making. I'm just getting a little bit overwhelmed with trying to plan monthly. Plus, I feel like we end up don't you don't end up using meals or I get kind of picky sometimes and I'm like, ooh, I don't feel like eating that today. I planned it a month ago and yeah, that just doesn't work into our schedule or I needed a crock pot meal for this day or something quick and easy. And so it just feels like we kind of, we don't waste it. I mean, we go back and use the food, but it just feels a little bit disjointed and disorganized. And if I plan it by the week, I really know what's going on each evening. Do I need a lot of crock pot meals that week? Do I need a lot of really simple meals that week? Do I need some convenience meals that week? And so it just helps me maybe to, to plan a little bit better by the week because when I plan a month ahead, I have no idea what's going to be happening those last three weeks, last couple of weeks of the month. And so, um, so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Weekly meal planning, monthly shopping, and weekly shopping at Walmart. 
All right, true life confession. You hear my pressure cooker beeping back there? Um, it is actually a few days later from when I started this video, um, and I'm finally ready to share my meal plan with you. <laughs> life got busy that day, and filming stopped, and real life happened, and I got all my grocery shopping done, which was awesome. So I will share that video with you, like I said, coming up in the next couple of days. Um, I went ahead, I just now started my chicken in the pressure cooker um, that I had talked about as kind of an alternate meal for some kids uh, for times when they aren't wanting to eat what we're eating. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full chicken in the pressure cooker. Um, I do struggle with those though. I, I have had trouble getting them done. Like I do my thermometer in the middle and I have to restart the pressure cooker, which is a huge pain because it has to build up pressure again. And, and so it just takes a lot of time. So I'm hoping that I've got enough time on there this time that I can get it cooked correctly um, and don't have to restart it. So there you go, my whole uh, Instant Pot saga. But I'm learning, I'm getting better with my Instant Pot. I've only had it about, I don't know, six months maybe. So anyway, maybe not even that. Maybe three months. Gosh, I got it at Christmas time, so whatever. Um, but anyway, so I am learning. I'm learning with the Instant Pot. So I will share with you the meal plan that I have, and um, and then I'm gonna share with you kind of how things are going, because we've actually had time to try out my little system and um, and see how it's going. So here we go. This was the meal, this, this is the meal plan for the week. And I say was the meal plan because um, you know how things change quickly. And so we've already had a couple, we're already a couple days into this meal plan and I haven't done any of the meals on it yet. So this is just sort of how it goes. Uh, Monty ended up working late and raise your hand or wave at me in the comments or whatever. But when Monty's not home and it's just the kids and I, I tend to be like I threw him frozen pizza the other day. I just wanted something quick and easy. I was like, we're not even eating as a whole family. I'm just gonna throw frozen pizza in the oven. So um, anyway, I tend to do that worse when things are busy and people are coming and going and not everybody's even eating. So then I kind of do something really quick and easy. So I'm, I'll try to do better, but there we go. <laughs> okay, so here is what I've got down for this week. So we were gonna have barbecue pork sandwiches on Monday. I think that was the frozen pizza day. Um, tuna patties yesterday, and we ended up having our taco salad that we were supposed to have on Sunday that we didn't eat. Um, and I needed something a little quicker than tuna patties, so I had meat cooked up, so we did taco salad. So um, tonight is supposed to be Tuscan cream chicken, tacos on Thursday, and pizza is on Friday. Um, now, what I decided to do is I have been setting the breakfast stuff out, and I will show you in a second how that has been going. Um, and then for lunches, I am still doing our famous lunch rotation that I love so much that just helps me not to have to think about what's for lunch for the kids. But that is the time when I am offering up peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to anyone who does not want whatever the lunch choice is that day. So that's when I'm allowing the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Then the evening meals, I am making one meal, um, and that is when I am going to have that chicken on hand. Um, I'm gonna have some rice on hand as well. So if they want some chicken and some rice, they can have that instead. So that's kind of how we're doing it. We are eliminating the fights about mealtime, the frustration for the kids about mealtime, being hungry, not being able to find um, anything to eat that they want. Um, and we're just kind of trying to eliminate a lot of the stress surrounding mealtime. So I'm gonna show you guys, this is how our morning went the other morning. This was kind of how we were doing breakfast and this is how we've done breakfast this week now. Um, there's a couple of breakfast meals that everybody loves. Like when Monty makes biscuits and we do biscuits and eggs, everybody loves that. So I'm gonna interject a few meals in a week where we just all eat whatever um, we've prepared because everybody likes it. Otherwise, they're getting the breakfast buffet <laughs> of choices. Um, cleanup is maybe a little bit harder, but we're eliminating the argument, so it's sort of a trade-off. Um, kids are much happier, kids are much fuller to start out their day. The only thing that I'm requiring of them is that they pick a protein. So I ask each of them to pick a protein for the morning, one protein item, and then they can have their choice of the carbs and the fruit and whatever else. So it is Monday morning and I thought that I would show you what I ended up with kind of for breakfast choices. So I have a little breakfast buffet. Everybody should be able to find something they like out of this. 
Um, and then some mornings I'm gonna add in some like scrambled eggs or oatmeal to it that they can have as one of their choices. This morning I'm offering strawberries, um, some mandarin oranges or bananas. I have hard boiled eggs or yogurt. Those would be good protein. Um, and then for carbs, I have a choice of um, toast, like a fruit and grain bar, bagels or cereal. So um, that is kind of what I'm doing this morning. And I think everybody will be happy and find lots of things in there that they want. In fact, I think it's gonna be hard for them to choose the first time and recognize that tomorrow I can have something different. I don't have to eat it all today. So we'll see how this goes. So take what's helpful for you and leave the rest. I know that different things are helpful for different families in different seasons and they work differently for all of us. So I just really encourage you to be creative for your family. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.